Is everybody else as happy as I am? I reached an all-time high on my Robinhood portfolio today, on my M1 portfolio today. Everything is just sky high. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bruce Wang. In today's video, we're gonna go over my dividend investing portfolios. A lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, go follow me right now. And uh, yeah, everybody's been messaging me on Instagram telling me how much money they've been making over the past uh, few days. The stock market has been pretty good for us for the last two days. Let's jump right into the Robinhood portfolio and I'll let you guys know what I've done in the last few days. So the portfolio value right now is at $7,835.93. I'm up about 70 bucks on the day, just under 1%. And uh, on the week, I'm up 2.3%, not too bad. 4% on the week. Uh, on the three months chart here, I'm up 8%. <clears throat> on the one year chart here, I'm up almost 20%. All time chart, I'm up 11.5%. So this week I had about $210 invested into the portfolio. And uh, my first purchase was for AGNC. I bought seven shares of AGNC um, in the beginning of the week for $15.11. So right now AGNC is up quite a considerable amount over the last, let's say even month or so. Um, it got as low as about $14.51. And uh, I've been buying AGNC for the last month, trying to accumulate more and more shares, trying to get my average as low as possible. So my average cost right now is still just under $17. So that's just the name of the game. Sometimes when you're doing a lot of dividend investing, you gotta average your way down on a lot of these stocks out here. Not every stock is just gonna blow up like AT&T. And that leads me to uh, AT&T. So let's take a look. So I sold five shares of AT&T yesterday. Um, I sold five shares at $87.50. And uh, I, profited, I profited a lot from that. So just keep in mind, my portfolio is still relatively small. Um, I had 25 shares in the beginning of the week and uh, my average cost here is at 30, $32 pretty much. And uh, today's return is $23. Total return so far since I started investing in AT&T, $135. So, so what I'm trying to say here is that you can do pretty well with a low portfolio investing in just very high quality stocks like AT&T. So my thoughts on AT&T at the moment is that uh, I have 20 shares. I'm just going to let this ride out. Um, I'm pretty sure the price is going to go up even further than this. And um, will I take profits later on? It depends. I'm not really sure. Uh, I just have to wait to see what the chart says. My, I have a really basic strategy for trading. I sell, take profits when uh, my stocks are over, over, overbought. And when they're oversold, that's when I would buy them back at a cheaper price. It's a really basic strategy. I think this strategy has been out there for a long time. So if you guys want me to dig deeper into that strategy, let me know down in the comments below. So after I sold AT&T, I had about $200 to reinvest into my portfolio. And I decided to put that into Pfizer. I bought uh, three more shares of Pfizer at $36. And uh, let's take a look. So Pfizer is up a lot as well in the past few week. In the last week, it's up almost 4%, 3.5% uh, actually. and um, let's take a look. I'm up $20 on my initial investment of just under $500. So I'm doing pretty well so far. The market's up. Um, I'm not gonna say I'm the best trader. I'm the genius trader here. I'm far from it. I'm just uh, following the market, riding the waves. Um, other than that, my last purchase of the week was one share of Realty Income, one of my all-time favorite stocks here. So when it comes to Realty Income, this is something that I try to just average my way in. Uh, Realty income is one of the top stocks in my portfolio in the SP 500 and and if you want and if you want that monthly income from dividends, Realty income is uh, a stock that pays out monthly dividends. So go get yourself some Realty income if you want monthly dividends. So Apple just launched their new iPhone 11 and uh, I have to say it looks pretty good. Um, I'm more into the iPhone 11 Pro model. I think that I think that if I just bought the 11 Pro model, I wouldn't even need this DSLR camera and I could most likely just film all of my videos with this camera, which is something that um, is really interesting to me because I don't like all this gear. I think the gear really takes away from um, connecting and creating the content. If I can just use one piece of gear, just this uh, new phone, uh, I think 
it will be good enough to make YouTube videos about that um, with that. So typically when iPhone launches a new phone, they typically launch a new iOS as well. And uh, Robinhood just updated their platform. So that kind of all ties in together. And um, this new messaging app, I'm assuming they're trying to, Robinhood wants to connect with the user. So they're trying to send messages. Maybe I get one message a day on average. Um, I think that if you have more stocks that pay more dividends, you'll be getting a lot more messages than me. Um, so yes, so just today I received a message from Robinhood saying that I got about $8.80 in dividends. And uh, let's say if you want to know what is a dividend, you can click this button here. There's a lot of terms and lingo when it comes to investing. And if you're a brand new, beginner when it comes to investing this is going to be pretty helpful to you so i think that this update is a lot better than previous updates so i'll have to really see how it goes here's another example of another message i got from robin hood uh, this is just to confirm that my deposits are coming through and uh just this week um i deposit around 230 30 dollars into my account and uh, that is why my account has been growing pretty quickly I think just a few months ago, I was at like 5,000 and it took me a long time when I was stuck at 5,000. I was uh, stuck at $5,000 portfolio for at least one month. And I think that was one of the slowest month on the YouTube channel as well. So as it seems like as my portfolio grows in value, uh, my viewership, my subscribers and everything else grows on the YouTube channel. So I can only imagine what would happen if I had 100,000 dollar portfolio i would probably have maybe a hundred thousand uh subscribers as well who knows that's just my thinking um i could be completely wrong about that so when it comes to deposits m1 finance made a really big mistake when it came to my portfolio so they canceled my automatic deposits i do not know why they did it but um, m1 finance also updated their software as well and uh, this is just my critique on uh, what they've done so um, we can see at the, at the bottom here, they have a bunch of new tabs and um, I'm, in the, I'm in the spend tab at the moment. And um, I also just ordered one of these cards to be sent to my house and it's gonna take about one or two weeks. So I kinda wanna do a review on that. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. If you are, leave me a like. So I know if I have over 100 likes on this video, I'll make a, a video about the um, M1 Finance spend account here. This is the new new transfer screen here, transfer tab. And basically I, I had automatic deposits coming into my account every single week. So I was wondering what was going on when I didn't see my you know 200 something dollars uh, deposited into my M1 Finance account. Um, I was supposed to get it yesterday and I just realized today that my bank account is not linked. So I don't know if that's just for me or if that's for everybody, let me know if uh, this also happened to you guys, I kind of want to figure out what is going on. So I tried to link my bank. Um, typically, whenever I link it, it just goes through right away. But um, in this case, I had to do it manually and um, it's going to take me at least another two or three days. So I'm not going to see any money in this account. I'm not going to see any deposits in this account um, anytime soon. So next week, I'm planning to deposit maybe four or $500 just to make up for this week's loss. Um, I'm really trying to stay very consistent every single week depositing $200 into each and every single portfolio because I think that is the number one key to growing your portfolio as fast as possible. Yes, picking stocks uh, is going to be one factor, but consistently depositing money into your account, you know, having that money saved up and invested every single week or every single month however much you can afford to invest. That is gonna be the number one key in um, in your investments. Let's take a look at the M1 Finance portfolio. I'm up almost 10% on the day. So that is pretty crazy. Uh, the last video I posted up, I was up only like 7%. So the stock market has been climbing um, higher and higher each and every day since I since I made that last video. So there's no complaints here. Um, in earned dividends, I'm at 20, almost $23 and but in market gains I'm at almost uh, $95 so this is uh, you know I'm not all about market gains it's cool that I do get market gains but the earned dividends every single month that's what I want to see I want to see that go up every single month and um, with this strategy 
it has to do it. It has to go up every single month with this strategy because I'm only investing into um, stocks that pay dividends and those stocks are increasing their dividends every single year. Sometimes not all of them do that, but um, a lot of the stocks that I uh, invest in, they increase their dividends um, throughout the years. So if you guys are interested in dividend investing, go into the links in the description. You guys can see my entire portfolio and you guys can uh, know my entire strategy. I make videos about this every single week so you guys can follow along and uh, see what I'm buying every single week. So other than that, I'm gonna answer some comments um, from my other videos. I get a lot of comments and I go and I get back to almost every single one. Um, you can see that I almost heart every single comment, but um, let's take a look at this one. I get comments like this all the time about how do I make money from Bitcoins or how do I make money from dividend investing? There's no way for me to teach you guys how to trade Bitcoin and make $100 every single day. There's no way for me to teach you guys how to trade stocks to make $100 every single day. I don't think that that is possible. If if that was possible, like I would become a professional trader on Wall Street. Um, that's what those guys do. And those guys can't even do that consistently. So let's try to stick to something very basic here. Um, hi, I'm a mom of four. Can you please teach a simple way that I can make $100 US a day from Bitcoins? The only way that I know how to make money from Bitcoin is to make content about Bitcoin on YouTube. That is the only way to do it. If you do that for a year, uh, you know, cryptocurrency is a very um, trending topic. And I think that it will be trending from now until forever because that is just cryptocurrency. That is like blockchain technology is just going to be here and it's going to be here for a long time. So if you want to make a hundred dollars a day from Bitcoins, you have to make content about Bitcoin. Um, and that's the only way to do it. I don't think that I can teach you guys how to trade and make hundred dollars a day from Bitcoin. Um, if you do affiliate marketing, that is another way to earn money from Bitcoins. And uh, yeah, that is the answer to the, your question. All right. The next question is from Jason. I think that's how you would say his name. That's kind of interesting. Hello, everyone. Here is an interesting question for you, dividend investors. Why are you saying for you, dividend investors? I'm getting offended here. Come on, man. Like, why, why are you saying it like that? If you could, would you invest all of your tax return in your portfolio? Why or why not? For me personally, I do not have any tax returns. And uh, every single year, I actually have to pay back money um, to the IRS, to you know, state taxes, federal, federal taxes. I have to pay back every single year. So I never see any tax return money. So here is another comment that I am kind of interested in um, talking about my income has gone up smirk quite a bit spill them beans Bruce we want to know the secrets great video thank you so basically in this video I talked about um, you know increasing my income over the past year doubling it and uh, that was very difficult for me to do but um, that is also because my income for last year wasn't that high as well so if you guys want to know how I make um, you know, my income, I'll let you guys know. And, uh, I'll, for the next video, leave me a comment down below if you guys want to know, or, uh, just leave me a like if uh, you want to know. And, uh, if you haven't already go check out these videos. Um, if you are more interested in about dividend investing, real estate investing, and, uh, go follow me on Instagram, like the video. If you haven't liked it, subscribe for more content, just like this, um, hit the notification to know when I come up with another video and I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you 3000. Bye-bye.